Hi, I'm Erin Barker. I'm a history teacher at Center Grove High School. I work at Center Grove High School. We are a high school that's right on the edge of being suburban, um, kind of a rural as well. We've got about 2,500 students. My role here at the school, I am a social studies teacher, so I have a mix of world history students that are generally freshmen, and then I also have some U.S. history classes that are for our AP students. So those are junior students that are wanting to have a little bit more of a challenge, and they can potentially earn college credit. A regular day here at the high school, we come in and School starts about 7.35. We do the pledge and we have a moment of silence and then we just get into different class materials. We talk anything about current events um, to different cultures across the, the globe. We're just really trying to connect the past to the present and why it's still important and applicable. I really try to fit in other things like grading and other duties into time when the students are in the class and maybe working with a partner on an activity or having some independent work time. I'll use that time to input grades if I need to, maybe kind of grade an assignment or two if I had something. I use that time to work on lessons that are for the next day or the next class as well. After school, there's nothing that is mandated that we have to do, but as a teacher, um, at least I feel like I want to get feedback to the students as quick as possible. So. I have it planned where I can work for about 45 minutes after school, grading, planning, getting things prepped for the next day. In order to be a teacher, when you're going to school, you need to have a, you need to graduate with a bachelor's degree in a specific area, social studies, English, health, science, whatever your subject area is. You also have to take some standardized tests from the state that allow you to teach specific subjects. Now they also have the path where you can do transition to teaching. And rather than taking another four years of courses, you could take just the education courses that you need to, and then pass the state mandated test and become a teacher that way. Those skills and interests that um, successful teachers have, generally they're gonna be organized in a way that they can explain to students where to find things and where things are in their classroom. They can know what assignments needed to be graded and, and different things like that. But there's a lot of interpersonal skills. Teachers nowadays are counselors and mentors and they have a lot of different facets to It's not just standing in front of a classroom and lecturing. When schools are looking for new teachers to hire, there are lots of different things they're interested in. They want to know how those teachers are going to work with other teachers. A lot of classwork and a lot of schoolwork and lessons is collaborative. Administrators are also going to look for punctuality, being here on time, being reliable, having uh, communication skills. You have to be able to communicate with students, but also parents. I love teaching. I love all aspects of it. Well, probably not the grading, but I love the students. I love being able to connect things and help students realize, oh, what's going on right now is connected to things that went on thousands of years ago and there are things in common and to spark that little interest that a lot of times they might not have. With things that are good, there are always challenges. So challenges in teaching are the grade work. Obviously, you need to give real-time grades back to students. So grading and staying on top of that is a challenge, especially for AP courses because they have so much writing. It's such a writing-heavy course, and it's not writing that I'm grading at the end of the day. The College Board is giving us a test that these students have to be able to, to take and pass. That pressure is kind of a challenge as well. Um, and then just dealing with other people. People are people and they have good days, but they also have bad days. If you are a student and you're interested in being a teacher, try and find a place that you can go and teach. It could be a youth group. Maybe you, you lead a small group of elementary school kids. Maybe it's getting involved in coaching a sport because maybe you like sports and this will give you an opportunity to 
teach that sport. The more practice that you get, the better you're gonna be at it and the more you're gonna realize that it is what you wanna do or maybe it's not what you wanna do and that's okay too, but you learned earlier rather than later. It's probably the best advice is, that I could give is go out there and try new things and find what you're really passionate about and then pursue that.